Hello, this is the HQST 60 amp charge controller. I've been using it for about six weeks now, and I have to say it's an excellent device. It's really well built. It has very, very clear interface. You can see what's going on. The terminals are fantastic, and I've got six gauge cable in there right now. So let's show you the settings. You can cycle through. As you can see, the interface is very clear. You can see the solo is charging the battery. You can see our percentage. We've got 12 volt system up here right now. Shows you how many amps are going in. My battery is 100% full, so nothing's going in right now. That's how much generation has gone through it so far. Current temperature, because this thing has a temperature sensor with it also, which you can touch by the batteries. There's error codes if they happen, show up there. Let's go through the rest of it real quick. There's the panel voltage. And here we are. Let's uh, turn on the load port, the tap. As you can see, it's now running the load. I've actually got it rigged up <laughs> to a light switch. And some lights and a USB charger. It uses the uh, PV Charge Pro app, which is uh, very easy to use. Um, you may have seen it before. You can connect to it through Bluetooth. I've got it going through one wall right now, and I can reach it from about, I don't know, about 15 feet away, 20 feet away. Um, it uses the PV Pro Charge app, or just Charge Pro if you're in the uh, Apple App Store. Um, although, as I've just found out, Redodo have also done a version of this device, and they've reskinned it, so it's basically the same thing. All the settings are completely configurable from here, but you can also do it through the app. I actually prefer the app, it's quite nice. You can set the uh, voltage, you can set whether it's a battery type is lithium or you know AGM and so on um, you can set the various cutoffs for charging and um, there's really not that much to it when you get the manual that comes with it it's maybe a couple of pages because that's all you really need this is an extremely easy to use device as you can see from the front here it's clearly printed what it can do depending on what voltage your system battery is Currently, I have it on 12 volt. Another thing of note is that it has RS-485. And the great thing is you can actually parallel two of these devices together. Um, you can do a 60 and a 40 or a 60 and a 20, whatever you have. If we look down at the bottom here, I don't actually have it set up. But there's the port. And if you connect those together, the two devices will talk to each other. So that's about it. I picked it up for about $269 when I bought it. Um, it looks like it's dropped since then. Uh, the most recent price I saw was $219. So even more of a bargain. So uh, I can't really say much else. I'd go buy it if you need one because it's great.